You know, there is something darn wonderful about uh, being able to take some strips of unblemished hardwood and make yourself a beautiful table, or uh, even take uh, some wrought iron and weld it into some uh, lawn furniture, or uh, grab a couple of milk crates <laughs> and turn them into a handy-dandy little bookshelf. <laughs> Suddenly, you're part of a long tradition of fine craftsmen who have turned uh, woodworking or what have you into an art. But you know, uh, after your first project of this, uh, you might want to try something a little more ambitious. I mean, a bookshelf is okay to look at, but next thing you know, you have to buy books, and uh, that seems a little pretentious uh, for a lodge member. <laughs> so this week, I'm going to show you how you can do something just a tad more ambitious. We're going to take uh, these milk crates here, and we're going to make a fold-away couch bed. <laughs> All right, uh, you build uh, two units like this, three by three, for your sides. You might want to put some padding on top of here as an armrest. And you got the storage bins in here, wine rack, beer rack, even a soft drink rack, you know, if you're one of those. <laughs> and you put these things uh, around uh, eight crates worth apart. Go get your top. Uh, it's basically the uh, the same technique, uh, you know, with the duct tape and a lot of, lot more uh, racking shelving here. You know, the duct tape with that kind of a uh, silver uh, chrome look, you know, kind of looks like the, the metal furniture that's so popular with the Art Deco. <laughs> Put that up on top. And there's your shape, you know, all your, all your television uh, remote controllers could fit into here. And uh, there's our frame done. Starting to take shape in them. Now we're ready to make the uh, fold-away uh, seat bed. <laughs> Okay, now, uh, what I've done is I've uh, made two units, three by five crates each, and I wrapped them all in duct tape. And uh, when you do this, though, don't skimp on the duct tape. Uh, whenever I've done a project and used less than a dozen rolls of duct tape, I've never been real proud of the results. <laughs> anyway, you know, before you put this together, you got one of those kind of an exercise things. You see the, the football players? They don't do that kind of, do that kind of stuff. I never wanted to play football. Uh, <laughs> and now we just fold her up together. There's our seat. <laughs> well, you just uh, upholster this now to match your house. Or if you don't have a house, uh, get it to match your pants. And if you don't have pants, well, you have a more interesting life than I do. <laughs> so milk builds the strong bones and strong couches, doesn't it? And now, you know, of course, when somebody drops over, they got a, they got a place to, to sleep, you know. Uh, you just get up and uh, you whip off, the, whip off the blanket here and uh, pull out the seat. I'm sure they'd help you. Okay, pop her up. And with the beauty of our Hillman hinge. Tell them to stand well back. And say, bedtime. Bed. <laughs> Hop into bed. And there you have it. Fantastic. So remember, women don't find you handsome. They should at least find you handy. <laughs> I don't think your guests will be staying any more than one night either, so that's an added bonus. <laughs>